There's so many proofs that we're on a flat level plan. There's 500. And I've only, I've only. There's no, I'm still tripping out on the picture. There's no picture of the Earth, except the one picture. They're all CGI composites. But when you were in 1960s, they didn't have good. They didn't have CGI. Um, they just take. They just. It's easy. With with it's you. Uh, they have video of uh, the astronauts who are supposed to be in space. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be in space, but they're just in low low Earth orbit. And they block out everything and just make like pictures of, just put like a cutout, like a stencil. Yeah. I mean, there's video of it. They're they're faking the distance of uh, the earth from their spaceship. They're really right on top of it. But they they just, I mean, you can watch this on. They're uh, doing. There was a documentary called, um, that was the first one that blew up. It's called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. There's people on a high, they're probably like 80,000 feet up. Commercial airlines go like 30,000. They're probably like high out to like 80,000. And they black out the little capsule that they're in. They're right, they're still like, you could look at the, oh, you just, you're, you're like high on a plane. But if you black out the area that you're in and then you have stencils of little balls or little crescent, you could just, that's the earth. That's what it is. It's fake. I'm still, yeah, I'm following you. Wait, so you, if you're flying in a plane. Well, the CGI ones, the, most of the pictures of Earth from space are like 2003, 2004, 2005. What did, I, we saw them in the 80s. Fake. <laughs> but computer program? It, it's not that hard to fake. It's not that hard. We didn't have to good. Fake. It is not hard. We to, didn't have good CGI in the 80s. That's all I'm saying. No. It, and when you look at it, it looks like shit. Look, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. This, it looks like, I mean, you look at it, once you know it's CGI, you're like, oh my God, this shit is fake as fuck. Watch. So do you believe, then what's real? I don't know what's real, dude. Uh, what Really, what is I real? I don't know what's real. I don't know. All I know is they're fucking, they're lying to us. Uh, pictures of Earth from space. I mean, it just looks fake as shit. Fake as shit, all of them. Those are the ones that pop up. Look how fake that shit is. You think that? You think that's real? They admit it's fake. They'll tell you it's fake. Oh, it's CGI composites because we have to get strips of data. What does strips of data have to do with it? It's fake as fuck. You think it's real? No, it does look fake. It's fake as fuck. They admit that's fake. Oh, they had to do strips of data. That's not real. You think that's real? That's cartoon. No, it does look fake. But my question is, what happens? I guess when we had it in the 70s and we really didn't have computers, I guess they were pictures in books that they drew. I mean, there's artists. Yeah. Badass artist, or from the you know, fucking photo. The wow. 200th century. I didn't even think of that. You're right. I mean, they look weird. They do look weird. Google pics from space, pictures of Earth from space. But I'm still confused of what. So if we're just sitting on this plane, but you don't know what's above it, but there is a lot of technically space between us and wherever this ceiling yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. And then we don't know what's you see outside all those rockets the ceiling. that seem to hit something? Yeah, I've been seeing those right? videos lately. What's up with that? It looks like something's scraping off something. Well, I see things with the weird, like... And think about big... this. The director of the moon missions, Warner Von Braun. Nazi, that's true? Nazi scientist. Was Hitler's right-hand man. Yeah, that's true. He was that guy. And he was the head. He was the spokesperson. Warner Von Braun was the spokesperson for the uh, moon missions. Think about that. Well, paperclip, yeah, we all of the all of he all of Georgia, I think it's Georgia or Alabama. I play a club, what is that? And, and it's all NASA. I want to say it's in in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Yep, a lot of all lot NASA. Of NASA. Everywhere you they got this all like, NASA, but uh, it's German. It's a big German town. Crazy, right? So that's because the Nazis. Correct, right? We took the we did take the Nazis for our space. That's a known yeah. fact, and yeah. scientists yeah. and all. That's a known fact, right? Yeah, 
Operation Paperclip. Paperclip. So Werner von Braun was a filmmaker? No, he was a rocket scientist. He and built he, missiles. And then he came to our... And then he became the director of the moon missions. He probably came over and goes, you guys don't have a space fucking program? You guys are retarded. You guys get on, got to get on a space program, motherfucker. Scare these motherfuckers with aliens. But then if Antarctica, they say one of the rumors is, is that Hitler was doing something with aliens over there. I mean, they're doing something in Antarctica. So let they me, don't want us to go there. Okay, so they're the, for sure going there. So let me ask you this, because you say, <laughs> "Dude, my brain is blown up." <laughs> you know, you have a lot of information. No, this is just stuff I see on YouTube. No, I know, but it's intense. So let me ask, ask you something. Do you ever see the movie The Thing? The Thing? Yeah. Uh, is it the thing with the, that uh, Marvel comic book thing? Or no, the, John Carpenter. Okay, the old one. Okay. I saw it, but I think I was eight. I don't okay. remember too much about it. So do you believe in you believe in Satanism? Yes. And you, only because only because it seems like the controllers are really into it. And they wouldn't be into it if it was fake. So they're in, they're into it. And you believe in um what they call the revelation of the process. Which is what? Meaning you have to say what you're gonna do in order to give it the power to get it done. People say I've heard that many times. Um and I don't know. I don't know the reason they let us know. Well, maybe but there's a, a, car, gives, a karma reason or something. No, like that. because it's like this. It's like it's basically like the wick that lights the firecracker. You by doing it, it gives it its power. Does this make sense? Yeah. So you have to say it to activate it. Yeah, I, I've heard that. that's the theory. I've heard that. I don't know. I don't know if I I believe it's true. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're telling us for other reasons. Like, you know, well, maybe they're maybe they reveal it. Um, there's also karmic retribution, but this. Yeah. The, why I'm saying this is because it goes back to what you were saying. So the movie, the thing, is all based in Antarctica, and they mm. discover crazy shit there, and it fucked me up. But I, there's a lot of videos. On different websites that you could go. So what was the thing about? What did they find? They found like a spider creature hybrid fucked up thing. And it kills all the researchers. And they don't know what it is. Literally the thing based off a Stephen King book. But So it's kind of like a giant spider? Kind of. But alien. The thing is though that there are videos now of people saying they found something very similar. And obviously they're called conspiracy theories and all this stuff. Yeah. So my question is, is this whole thing a predictive programming? Because you see stuff in mainstream media and then it comes true. So that, would, to me, would be one big revelation of the process to say, here, we're going to do this. Now it's out there. We can do it. Does that make sense? No, I understand that. Um, I don't know. It's starting to feel like that. Because I, how many predictive programming things have you seen? Yeah, tons. Yeah, you can look at the 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 scamdemic. Yeah, was programmed. Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. was they were given clues for a long time, right? Yeah, I think, or or maybe it's they put it in movies to get people used to it, so that when it happens, it's not so much of a yeah. shocker. Priming. Yeah, priming. Yeah, getting them getting them used to it. Um, but yeah. that means it was planned. I think. I mean, look at look look at any genre. In movies or music, if they're big, if the genre is giant, like um, zombie movies, for instance, right? Huge. They're huge, right? Zombies are huge. I wondered, always wondered why, but now I'm starting to think. Yeah, it's because what, what, what do you have in a zombie? There's some kind of sickness that, that people give each other that uh, if you don't have the vaccine, you're dead. And it's all about getting the vaccine. Vaccine. That's huge. I'm like, that's genius. I'm zombie movie after zombie movie and everyone's getting each other sick and everyone's turning each other into zombies except for the people with the vaccine oh man it's genius how f i believe that's the next thing and i believe it's already happening because people seem off their rock or weird like uh the fentanyls like those people on the yeah street. Like, dude dude we're straight we have that in the, like crackheads weren't even like that no right? 
Fentanyl is a whole different. All those people are like kind of bent over and just like standing up, bent over. Or just people walking in the street, just looking around, not aware of the traffic. Scary. I see that everywhere. I mean, so I think we're getting closer to zombie shit. Do you believe that? Uh, it all depends on well, how my, you define a zombie. Meaning, just people that are fucking no awareness, and just but, like, but the zombies you see on on yeah, TV, not they, as maybe they eat they, have to yeah. eat the flesh of other people. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far we are from that, but there was a, a conspiracy about Amazon putting in one of their accept all terms and conditions in case of zombie apocalypse. And it was removed. You can look that up. I know. I don't know if it's true, but I did see that. Maybe sometimes I think they put that shit in the there fucking just to, troll? to get us. Yeah, to troll and they're having fun. Who knows? Maybe the controllers like this is just reality TV for the controllers. You know, they might all live like all the controllers might live in Greenland, and Greenland might just be this kingdom, this you know uh, of the Illuminati, and for their entertainment. They watch the prisoners and everybody in the different prisons. So we're the gerbils. Yes. Like we could easily, like everything could just, you know, like people are like, oh, is is Trump a shill? Is he actually with the deep deep state and he's just doing good cop, bad cop? I don't think so. I think think it's real, but I think it's like, I think the controllers, because I, you know, if if Trump is um, undercover deep state, uh, yeah, we're fucked. We're definitely if fucked. he's a psyop. If he and, and he know he's knowingly a psyop, but I don't think so. I don't. I think if the overall game is to um just reset everything, it does. He doesn't have to be in on it. All they do is, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to level the United States. It was cute. We we let them have guns, and we let them say whatever the fuck they want. Let, let's get fucked out. We, that was cute. Now let's let's make the United States uh, a third world nation, just like all the, the countries in Latin America. They're all third world countries, and they're all, those are the easiest ones to control. So I think it was like, okay, let's shut down the United States. If that's the, the plan, just to shut it down, it doesn't matter... If Trump wins or not, like it doesn't matter. All that matters, it's like, um, it doesn't matter who wins, like Biden or Trump. To them, the controllers, it actually doesn't matter. Because it, it's like, um, does it matter to, um, um, like, uh, whoever, does it matter to, uh, to the controllers who wins the Super Bowl? It doesn't matter to me. No, I think it's it, but, but the Super Bowl is important. Football is important. I love football, and I understand it's a distraction, but I uh, want the distraction purposely. No, I agree. You know, I want it purposely. Sometimes I, I can't be kept in conspiracy all day. No, I So agree. I get into football, and I get into music Although documentaries, started, and I get away from, from Captain Conspiracy. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, but I also start to think that football is scripted. Uh, it's hard to script. If it's scripted, it's through the refs. It's not through the yeah, players. Yeah. The players aren't doing anything. But no, the refs. but but the refs can do it. Yeah. Nobody knows the refs. Nobody knows one fucking ref's name. You know that? <laughs> I know. Nobody knows any. <laughs> and there was one time I think like during like the eighties or nineties, a couple of them were getting kind of famous. They go, you know what? That's not good. Let's shut. Let's make them all faceless. Nobody knows any of these guys. They move them around. So I think. And when you look at football, like. Every play, there's pass interference. Every play, there's holding. Every play. So what you do is you only call the penalties. When, like if you want a certain outcome for a game, you call the penalties at a certain certain spots, like to to, yeah. to stop drives or to keep drives going. You know what I mean? Certain you could teams. Call, you could call pass interference on every play. You can call holding on every play. Mm-hmm. But so that's c- how you do it. There's certain teams I feel that they want to succeed. Probably within the NFL, mm-hmm. but the, to the controllers, they just want football as as a distraction. Because yeah. the more you're into football, the less you're paying attention on how they're stealing your money. Exactly. So the more, the because they know they probably got it all figured out. The average person works 40 hours a week. He sleeps, what, uh, uh, seven times eight? What is that, 56? Mm-hmm. Is that 56? Wait, seven? And then, yeah, 56. Uh, um, so 56, he works four, that's 90. And then that means every day they have, you know, three hours of free time to, to figure out uh, how they're stealing the, our money. So we give them sports, baseball, hockey, yeah. whatever. Then that sucks up all their time. They have, you know what I mean? So I think that's what sports are, is to suck up your time. 
Um, but uh, I agree with if that. you know that I enjoy the game. Football is a genius game. I love it. And I love the distraction. I need to get away. Take me away from all the shit. Now, if you're not paying attention at all to what's going on and you're all into football, you're that you're per, you, it they love you. Yeah, it, it works. They love you. Yeah. But uh, I do pay attention, so I do deserve to do some mindless bullshit too. You know yes. what I mean? So um, to the controllers, football is very important to – to lock up a lot of your time, you know, three hours a, a week or, you know, and then you watch all these little podcasts like I do. It takes it like 10 Sports hours. Sports in week. general. Yeah, totally. Football goes to basketball, which goes but to, to baseball. But the controllers, they don't give a fuck who yeah. wins the Super Bowl. Like, And no. I think they don't give a fuck who wins uh, between Trump and but Biden. 